Singer Nadia Benaisa was in court in Darmstadt Monday, facing charges for allegedly infecting men with the virus that causes AIDS. Through a statement read out by her lawyer in which she said she was sorry from her heart, Benaisa acknowledged having unprotected sex with a partner despite knowing she herself was HIV positive. The 28-year-old faces charges of grievous bodily harm for allegedly infecting her partner with the virus back in 2004. She also faces charges of attempted bodily harm for having unprotected sex with two other men. Prosecutors say Benaisa had known she was HIV positive since 1999. She had joined the group No Angels a year later through the TV casting show Pop Stars. It sold more than five million albums before breaking up in 2003. Benaisa was with other members when No Angels reformed later, though the group flopped at the Eurovision Song Contest in 2008. News agency DPP reported in her statement Benaisa told the court she was addicted to crack cocaine at 14 and found she was HIV positive when she became pregnant at 16. According to Der Spiegel journalist Gisela Friedrichsen, the singer was worried she'd hurt her bandmates if she told anyone, even though she had sex with, that she was HIV positive. She admits to her mistake, saying that she should have dealt with this a bit more proactively. But on the other hand, if this was released to the public earlier, she said that she also had a certain responsibility to the band, as the careers of her bandmates would also have been destroyed. And Friedrichsen questioned whether Benaisa should bear sole responsibility. I always wonder why there are allegations against a woman when a man does not use a condom. The singer had been arrested in 2009 and kept in custody for 10 days before being released pending her trial, a move that a German AIDS awareness group criticized as disproportionate. There are several more hearings scheduled and other band members are expected to testify. Benaisa herself could be questioned before the case is due to wrap up with a ruling near the end of the month. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.